The Carlisle Hotel has been one of the most celebrated hotels in the world since it was first opened uh, more than 85 years ago. Since then, the New York Institution has played host to a long line of famous guests, from JFK to Michael Jackson, all enjoying the finest hospitality we, we have. The hotel has to offer. But one room on the 22nd floor is a pillar above the rest. Joining me now is Rosewood Hotel's president, Rada Aurora. Rada, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks so much. Okay, before we get into the business of the ho hotel industry, you got to tell us about this most requested room at the Carlisle. Yes. What is so special about this room? Well, it is a royal suite. It has two floors. Um, uh, from royals to entertainment, everybody wants to be in there. And um, it's so much so, you know, the, the demographics are such that, you know, you've got the old royals, of course, uh, Kennedy stayed there as well, Michael Jackson, we talked about Michael Jackson, and the young entertainers today, they also want to touch that suite. Um, and, and the best thing about that suite is that, is, is that some of the younger entertainers tell me that it's a place they want to be when they learn to respect themselves. Wow, that's, yeah. that's a do nice they, compliment. Do they ask for discounts? Also, well, a little bit, you know, we'll give 10% off of $8,000 a night, so. Wow, $8,000 a night. How are things going? Tell us about the, the business right now. I mean, we, we have this debate all the time about how strong the economy really is. What are you seeing in the hotel business? Yeah, well, New York, uh, we are feeling a little bit of a pinch in New York because the supply has been really tremendous over the last couple of years with new properties coming up. That said, in, you know, New York especially, people come to New York uh, either for, for New York and shopping and all the, all the uh, uh, landmarks and destinations, but people come to the Carlisle for the sake of the Carlisle. That in itself is a destination. So we're very fortunate that we have these landmarks where people want to just visit and touch. Um, but generally, worldwide, you know, we're expanding. We're going from 18 properties to 40 properties. Uh, as well as the fact, generally, we tend to be resort heavy in our portfolio. So the resorts are doing really well for us at the moment because of multi-generational families uh, and, and couples still wanting to go out there and have vacations. And, and you said you're expanding, you're opening your first resort in Costa Rica. Uh, yes, Papagayo uh, will open in two and a half years. That's our first uh, resort in Costa Rica. Caribbean, we've got a bit of a footprint going on there. But in, uh, in, in Europe, uh, we did open or re reopen the Castellón del Bosco in Tuscany, which is absolutely gorgeous. And uh, we're about to uh, announce a couple of properties in Europe as well in the next uh, two, three months. Right. You know, yeah. Rod, I'm curious. We were just talking in the last segment about oil and about how poorly crude oil has, uh, has traded. Yeah. I'm curious if that's affecting your business. Do you see uh, less demand from the petro states, so, you know, yeah. from the Arab world, yeah. from Russia? Yeah. Is, is that impacting your properties? Uh, not properties in as far as business, day-to-day -day business today, but it has thwarted some of the growth because some of the investment arms were coming out of the, uh, the Middle East, and they've actually put post-it stickers on some of the, uh, the uh, development opportunities that we were going through. You know what I wanted to ask you about China recently really picking up the pace in terms of acquiring uh, U.S. hotels. Yeah. Chi Chinese uh, uh, have acquired the Waldorf Astoria. Yes. They are trying to break up the, the, the deal between Starwood and, and Marriott. Yes. What, what do you think about that? Well, um, let me tell you something. Our company is actually owned by a Chinese concern. It's mm. a Chinese family. Uh, they're a fantastic family to work with. I've worked with them for over 10 years. Um, they're very foresighted, visionaries, and of course, very respectful, certainly of our brand and our institutions, such as uh, the Carlisle, Rosewood Carlisle, and the Creon Rosewood, which will open next year. Yeah. So, um, well, I, I asked, I was then President Obama say that he's not going to stay at the Waldorf anymore because the Chinese own it? I mean, like, yeah. they're, they're tapping the rooms. Yeah. Well, certainly from our standpoint, I mean, they've, they've been very respectful of, of the local heritage. And, and as I said before, sense of place, very respectful of that. So I have no concerns about that. And as far as taking over some larger conglomerates, maybe it's good for um, institutions like the Merritt and Starwood so that they're under actually one umbrella. So it might make sense for them as a, as a company. Makes sense. Rada, good to have you on the program Thanks today. so much. Nice to be Congratulations. Thank Fantastic you. hotel group. Uh, Rada you. Aurora there, Rosewood Hotels president. Next